Cheers, Les. Cheers, Rex. We're at Element 79 Vineyards. It's one of our favorite places in Fair Play, and it's up in the mountains, so you get kind of a different experience than you do at some other wineries because the wine and, and nature, I think, do this thing together, do this little dance, and the wine just tastes a little better in the mountains, in my mind. I think it has something to do with the air, right? The high, yeah, the yeah. Altitude. But we are at 2,400 feet, so right. um, it does definitely make a difference in uh, the grapes, mm -hmm. um, the terroir here. Uh, the elevation, the soil, all. In fact, we're our own AVA here. It's called right. Fair Play. Right. Uh, is an AVA designated spot. Uh, only grapes grown here can have Fair Play on the label. So it's, yeah. it's a special yeah. designation. But yeah, it's special up here. That altitude. Uh, drink anytime you can drink outside with more oh, yeah. oxygen, more air. Yeah. I think the air breeze a little oh, bit better. Yeah. It's it always be tastes a little, a little better. bit better. And it does. And, and you guys do a great job. Uh, uh, Award winning wines are right here. Uh, and if you're in Sacramento, you're not that far from Fairport. Oh my gosh! Uh, no, we're um, we're um, yeah. I don't from know. From Fair Oaks, it takes uh, 50 minutes to get right. door to door from Fair Oaks, but right. maybe an hour or so from sure. downtown Sacramento. But yeah, uh, easy drive, good yeah. roads, and no traffic. And, yeah, and up Highway 50, drive. you take Missouri Flat Road, and then you get pointed in the direction of Fair Play, and then before you know it. You're at Element 79 right Vineyards, here. right? Yeah. And so it's a, a great, uh, we've visited Les many times in, in his winery here. And the tasting room makes me think of Napa Valley, Sonoma. Every time I'm here, I kind of confuse myself. I'm like, am I in Napa? Am I in Sonoma? It, it's such a, a great tasting room, Les. Well, thank you. Uh, you know, that Sharon has done a great job of, of decorating the place and giving it that urban rustic feel. And, right. And, um, you know, uh, wh wh why not have a Napa type of experience, but yet not be in Napa? Sure, you're not sure. going to pay the Napa prices, and, <laughs> uh, um, and you're going to you're going to meet the winery uh, owners and right. the winemakers up here uh, in Fair Play, and and um, and plus we have uh, great grapes. So yeah. um, no, we appreciate that. Uh, right. I like to say we're we're not just a winery; mm -hmm. we're a wine drinkers country club. That's right. No pretentiousness, yeah. of right. course, like country clubs tend to have. But sure. uh, we we. Um, we, you'll have a wonderful experience here. It's an enjoyable experience. The tasting room is, is terrific. You can go inside. There's a fireplace or you can sit out on the patio and uh, look at the vineyards that are right behind our back, believe it or not. Yes. And uh, today is a gorgeous day. It's absolutely sunny. It's teasing us that spring is finally here. Finally <laughs> have some sunshine. We're able to get some work done as right. you look out here. Right. Uh, we, we are in the process of pruning right now. The crew's gone home for the day, but... Mm -hmm. um, we have another few acres to prune down here in the lower vineyard. Right. Upper vineyard's all done. So, yeah, the weather's finally let us get in the vineyards yeah. and do some right. of this stuff and get it pruned. Yeah. So. yeah, and then you have a new production facility that you've uh, uh, built here. Uh, tell correct. us a little bit about yeah. that. We So we uh, every aspect of our winemaking will be done here on property. So oh, we'll wow. be able to control things and, and make uh, the very best wine that can be made uh, because we'll be able to do what we want to do when we want to do it uh, now, because we only have yeah. facility. How, how important is that to a winemaker that you have total control over the grapes, over the process? That must be something that frees you to creativity, right? Because Absolutely. you can kind of experiment with things that maybe you wouldn't if somebody else is, is going through that production. Absolutely. With yeah, you. yeah. yeah it, it's it's a big thing. Uh, we, we wouldn't have made the investment if it if we didn't feel like, because uh, that's what we, our, our goal is to not just sell wine, but we want to make the very best wine from grapes that are unique to this. Uh, we're an estate winery, meaning right. all the wines we sell, our grapes are grown here. So we control that process from bud break to bottle now. 